Hey folks, Killman here. Killman! At your service. Now, forgive my dishevelled look, I have been out with the dog on my daily exercise, my COVID exercise, and ran round the cemetery, ran round the streets, uh, had a great old time, played soil bombs, did all the sorts of usual stuff with that big rampaging husky dog of mine. And I came back knackered and slightly sunburnt as well, I think. Uh, and she's now crashed out. But regardless of how tired I feel, there is someone out there who has done far, far beyond what anyone would have thought possible. And, you know, puts pretty much everybody who thinks they're fit and up for a challenge to shame. Captain Tom Moore, yeah, 99 years old. This guy, a week ago, his 100th birthday is coming up. He's a Second World War veteran, a trained civil engineer, joined the Second World War, fought in India and Burma, the hell that was Burma. And uh, for a bit of a challenge, you know, he said, well, if you can walk the 85 feet, I think it is, 25 meters of his back garden on his Zimmer, um, do 100 laps of that, you know, lucky the 100 pounds. That's how it started off. That quickly became, well, because, you know, he's quite good at it and where the mouth got round. Well, if you do it, we'll raise a thousand pounds by one of those donate to you sort of, you know, charity pages. And we're going to give it to the NHS. It became world global news. The guy became, you know, an almost century year old superstar. And the money went up, the donations went up, went up, went up. He's been on TV, he's been everywhere. He is hailed as an absolute superstar, uh, a superhero. And uh, at the time of this recording, I think he's on 14 and a half million. He's finished it now, he's finished it. He finished it today. And uh, for his final lap, his final lap, the men of the Yorkshire Regiment uh, were stood there saluting him. And it's beautiful, you know. And, you know, so many people, uh, you can be cynical, you can be whatever, you know. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll climb Everest, I'll do this. I'll sing, you know, you've got all like, you know, pop stars and artists and bands who are all at home, but they're recording songs for the NHS and songs to uplift the spirits. And, like, and that's all well and good. Um, and there is a cynic in me as well, which sees like, oh, well, they're just leaping on the bandwagon and, you know, hey, like Robbie Williams and his missus are coming out there. And, I don't, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong but to condemn it, but the smirk on Robbie Williams' face didn't seem genuine to me. And uh, it's just, well, everyone else is doing it, so we've got, to, we've got to say something. Support the NHS, love you, love to all, love to all. Captain Tom Moore, you know, you can talk about people from a different generation and uh, people who live through things, they have a different mindset. No, no, I don't really buy into that one either. People have a mindset. People have a heart. People are individuals. And if they want to do something, they'll do it. Captain Tom Moore, you chose to do this. You chose to go on with it. And he, he put his blazer on with his, his, his metal top. On his zimmer, hunched over. And kept on going, kept on going. He didn't like it in the shade. Quite a, that's quite a big space he was, you know, traversing. He said today, you know, it was cold in the shade, but lovely in the, in the sun, lovely and warm. And, uh, you know, there's something genuinely touching about that. There's a big cry now to make him, uh, you know, give him a knighthood. He'll get that. He'll get that. He didn't do it for that. He did it. The guy had a hip replacement. He's also had cancer. And he was treated and he, he loved and respected the NHS. Having been through the war and knowing what uh, the fledgling health service was doing back then, you know, for the armed forces. He knows the sacrifices these people make and he chose to make a sacrifice of his own. Now for 99, the guy has a sense of humour, he's sharp as a whip, you know, he, he's funny, he's also humble, but he he's listening to what he was on, I saw him being interviewed by uh, Eamon and Ruth on this morning, this morning, 
after completing you know, his marathon and uh, he was quick, he was super quick, his daughter was there and they, they, no one can believe just how much he's raised and he's still raising, the money is still coming in. I think at the time of me recording this 114 different countries have took part and donated towards him and that's all coming to the NHS and he did say you know you should be putting this towards your own health uh, organisations um, but you know I welcome it you know he's he's done more than his bit didn't have to he didn't have to he could have walked once or twice up there and everyone would have you know championed him but he kept on going kept on going and it without a doubt it's it's moving it's touching this sort of thing always does sort of you know, breaks the heart but also reinforces that there are good people out there and as I said before don't go leaping into the bandwagon that it's oh it's the older generation no he's an exceptional individual regardless it doesn't matter what generation he came from this guy would have done it anyway he'd have done it anyway and there are people around the world who are like that from every walk of life <laughs> walk of life literally from every social background every country every culture there are people which will there's a needy cause there i will do whatever i can if all i can do is clutch hold of my zimmer and shuffle and he, i'll tell you what he wasn't shuffling he was doing really well he could have got he, he could go on for another week or so easily easily and uh, if that's all that they can do then that's what they do so many people just sit there and say, you know, oh, yeah, I'll run up Ben Nevis, you know, with a, a kilt on my head, you know, for charity. But the minute someone goes, well, do it then, do it, and I'll give you X amount for your charity. They disappear then. I've met people like that. I've met charitable charlatans who want the notoriety. It's all mouth, it's all mouth. This guy, Captain Tom Moore, is an absolute bastion of the best of human spirit. He is, he is. You know, I, I am guilty of being a tremendous cynic. Some of you know that. <laughs> but I'm also one of those that I will I will applaud and salute, and I definitely do salute you, sir. I definitely do salute you. Um, anyone that will rise to the occasion, will rise to an event, a cause, a crusade, and will give their utmost. And for him, that was his utmost. His 100th birthday is coming up. They've said that they can't have a party for obvious reasons, but millions and millions of birthday cards are being sent to him now, you know. And the post office has said, like, don't worry, you know, we're going to keep a special slot for him. By the way, Captain Tom Moore, you know why, but this is for you. Well, I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. If I get drunk, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who gets drunk next to you. And if I heaver, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's heaving next to you. Marry on, he it on, his badges, his medals. But I will walk by one. See him punched over. I will walk by one. But he doesn't feel sorry for himself. He's proud of what he's done, and rightly so. No. He's a hero. He already was, and he's done it again. No. So it just shows you, it doesn't matter what age you are, it doesn't matter what condition you're in, you can still go that extra mile if you want to do it. If you think it's worthy of your time and your effort. Go beyond. He is definitely, you know, a champion. This is him. Okay, what's he going to do next? <laughs> Think he will do Everest? It is. One of the uplifting stories of this entire COVID-19 you know, nightmare. Well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the 
He has put a smile on a nation's face. And not just the this nation. As I say, it's gone around 114 countries. At least. read a quote from him and I'll try not to get moved by it although it's difficult not to this is what he said you know shortly after he finished the fundraiser the retired soldier had words of advice for the nation about coping with the coronavirus lockdown this is what he said you've all got to remember that we will get through it in the end it will be all right for those people finding it difficult at the moment the sun will shine on you again. And the clouds will go away. Big stuff, kilt man, yes. If I could do something like that. Even now, yeah. Let alone at 99 years old. Captain Tombo, I salute you, sir. The nation does. The world does. See you all. Laters. Keep on walking now. <laughs>